Hello. What you're about to see is something that normal people should not attempt on their own. I have plenty of experience as an indoor, outdoor track runner, cross country runner, as well as running on my own in very adverse conditions. This is nothing new to me. I know what I'm doing. I know what to look for, how to react and what have not. So please, do not attempt this stuff yourself. I do know what I'm doing. Alrighty, we're out in the worst of so-called Hurricane Sandy. Now, the hurricane itself actually isn't reaching here, but it is converging with the low pressure, which is causing that quote-unquote perfect storm scenario for which that movie was famous for. Only difference is it's much more inland. Yeah, it doesn't look as impressive. It doesn't look as impressive on camera that it does in the real world. I'm trying to keep the wind on my back so the camera doesn't get wet either, but it's gonna. Let's face it. In fact, let's just go into the park. I'm gonna try. Eh, lens is getting wet. Let it get wet a little more. Pardon for any shaking. I am soaked completely through just simply running an errand. And I am freezing. So, I'm going to wipe that clean again. Alright. And as I said, I do know what I'm doing. So, I am in a very safe spot right now because... The wind's coming from the east, which is to the left in this picture, and there's nothing in front of us. Yeah, this is pretty brutal stuff here. Okay, we're getting wind gusts that are supposedly only 40 miles an hour, but I think this has been quite a bit worse than that. And this lens just does not want to stay dry. So, pardon any distortion, pardon any blurriness. We gotta deal with that. I'm gonna walk over this way now. Because all we got are these little trees, and I'm not too worried about those breaking branches and hitting me in the head. They're tiny. Yeah, now that I got the camera rolling, uh, things aren't really as bad as they have been. Go figures. Anyway, winds are kind of blowing mostly eastward. Let's wipe that again. Yeah, this is just terrible. I can't get it clean. Let me try this. But it just made matters worse, didn't it? No, it didn't. All right, I know what to do when it gets too wet now. Well, we've got a wind gust coming through right now. I'm in a safe spot. Kind of in a protected spot. There's a lot of trees where the wind is coming from, so we're not getting a lot of the wind. So we're just getting a little bit of a blow around, not much of anything else. But occasionally one will come through just right and whip everything around quite a bit. Yeah, go figures, uh, as soon as I start the camera, things calm down quite a bit. Not that it's been really all that calm. 
I mean, it might be gusting to 40, but that's a very strong 60 mile an hour gust come through. And like I said, now that the record button's been pushed, just decided to lax off a little bit. Yeah, because strange, the rain is uh, just coming almost straight down now. Alrighty, I'd not really much to see here. I mean, it just simply stopped being all productive. I mean, in a, for my personal safety, that's a good thing, but for a video where I'm touting to uh, not attempt something, it's turned into nothing. I mean, over there, you probably can't see it too well. It's starting to whip around again. Got a little wind going on my back. I mean, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. starting to get a little dark from the south, which is the direction you're facing. And not very promising. We got a little blow around here. I mean, not terribly much. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little better. Nothing horrible. Let me zoom back out. And we'll just do a little walking down Main Street. Just a little bit. As the winds turn more northerly, which is the opposite direction we're traveling now, this area will give us a much greater effect. Because right now it's not really much of anything. Just a little bit of tree blow, wind blowing trees. It's not really too bad. And like I say, gusts to about 40. Nothing really much. More of an annoyance. Look at that rain whip through. If you can see it. I don't know how clean the lens is right now. Well, now we know how to clean it, so let's do that. I'm getting a good push on my back right now. You can see the flags whipping around. I mean, it's almost as much as you're going to see. Uh, some of the flowers didn't quite survive. I got to hold this thing with two hands. For some reason, my left one's shaking. I don't know why, that's my stable. And the flag up there is whipping around. And we'll just go backwards this way. Just because we can see more. Not get a camera full of rain here. Well, nature wasn't exactly very cooperative on this. So, 
That being said, I know you can't really see it too much. I got some whipping going around right now. Yeah, I guess that'll be it for now. Oh, we got a gust coming through. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Not much to really see. Oh, now we got one. Alrighty, that'll be about it. Alrighty, we're gonna use our trusty Icon Rogue. And I'm out at what is supposed to be the very peak hours of this storm. And again, Sandy, when the camera is on, doesn't show her true fear and glory. Anyway, we have a pine tree here. Right there, we can see it. And here's a piece of it there. And if we look on the roof here, it fell onto it. And it's also touching that yellow house right there. So there is some actual damage. We had some 60 plus mile an hour gusts in the area. That's, and oh, uh, by the way, guess which neighborhood has absolutely no power? And it's the only one that doesn't have any power. As the great Al Bundy would say, no need to ask such stupid questions. I like to thank National Never Touch the Grid for never maintaining these lines. So whenever there's a tiny wind gust or a light drizzle, the power goes out and they don't bother to fix it for hours. So we're going to go to the point that we started before and take a look at things again. Alrighty, we're starting farther back than we did before. And as we all know here, this is our Welcome to Lemonster sign, and that used to be there, and it isn't. The camera's going to lose focus because it's dark, and the wonderful TX-10 really sucks when it comes to autofocus. It's very bad at it. I wish the camera had an option in which to disable it and set it to what we want. And just like the very beginning, when the record button is pressed, Sandy decides to be a nice, gentle lady. So, this time I brought a paper towel, which got soaked. So, yeah, it's not going to be perfect again. In fact, I might just do what I did before. And that's... Use my shirt here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have water. We're gonna have droplets all over everything. That's just the way it is. And since Sandy has decided to really calm down, we're walking pretty much right under big trees because I don't care. Simply because she's died off. Also, This is, as I mentioned, supposed to be the very worst time the storm is supposed to be hitting us. And it's rather benign. And yeah, we get a wind gust here and there, but they're truly nothing. And these guys had no power, just like my neighborhood, and it's back. And I see lights near my neighborhood, so they finally came back. The wind died down enough so that the National never touch the grid will be brave enough to get on the ladders and actually fix things. I remember the days when it used to be mass electric, and right in the middle of a massive hurricane, they'd return power. I've been through two hurricanes, and both times we lost power. First one, we got it back near the end of the storm, because we kind of lost it in the middle. 
and the second time we lost it pretty much at the very beginning and it came back in the middle and never went. Here you get a little wind and a tiny amount of rain. They won't even show up. And I think we got some damage here too. Because at this point here, there was no power and we were going to turn up here and go. No, that's just a bush that I never really paid attention to and never noticed till now. I had this nice dry towel to wipe the lens with and it just doesn't really do much. I'm keeping the camera pointed more towards the west because that is the direction the rain will not hit the camera. Until we get to an area like this, we'll point it a little more. This away. And it's raining and there's a hardly any wind now. But that doesn't mean as soon as the record light goes off and I put this in the video editor that the 60 mile an hour ramp up ain't gonna come back. So that's how it's been lately. I don't watch this one. As we're getting a gust right now. It's nothing super impressive, but I'll aim this way so you can watch the the sheets of rain if it's visible. And if you hear a little clanging sounds, that's because at some point on this big tree, I don't know if you can see them. There are wind chimes that are hanging off them, so that's the clanging sound you're listening to. There's some heat action right there. Yeah, even I can see it on the viewfinder, so distorted or not, you should be able to see it. Rain's starting to pick up again. And I'm just going to stand here because I think there's another wind gust coming through. No, it isn't. It's just the rain getting harder. And there is a slight pickup in the wind. Not all that much. When Z record light goes on, Sandy becomes a proper lady. When it's off, she becomes a roaring beast. Now it's really raining hard. The faded backgrounds this time isn't caused by wind-driven rain. It's simply caused by heavy rain all on its own. And I'm getting completely soaked again. Thank goodness this TX-10 is waterproof. For those of you with TX-100Vs, aren't you jealous? I'm using my TX-10 out in the rain, un unprotected, and it's fine because it's waterproof. We're going through a massive shower right now. And here on, these mem on this memorial, the rain hitting these lights kind of gives it a neat little ripple effect. Especially the memorial circle one. I don't know how well it's coming out. But it's visible on the viewfinder, so you should be able to see some form of it. Wind looks like it's starting to ramp back up. Because as you've seen, it was very quiet when we started. And wasn't all too bad. when we, whoop, I bumped into myself into a bench. This towel is completely soaked before it even had a chance to use it. And she's starting to ramp up even more now. Wind's still out of the northeast, although occasionally there's a western component which kind of throws things off a little bit. 
And that's Sony not wanting to focus. Big surprise there. Sarcasm. And I stepped into a hole filled with water. Well, we do have some damage here. And it's not a bush that I don't pay attention to. There is a small branch there that's not really worthy of bringing out the icon row. But this is. It's hard to see, but it kind of blends in with the grass. Especially when Sony don't want to focus. There we go. That's a branch. Now the wind's starting to be a terror again. And now she's starting to pick up. And now it's starting to roar. So we'll walk this way a little bit. I'm not going to be able to sleep through this thing, so... I, I can process it while I'm sleeping. Maybe upload it before I uh, head to work. Not 100% sure on that. I'm on the uh, long end of Carter Park, so... It takes a lot longer to get to the other side. Here's a Civil War cannon. You probably can't see it. It's not terribly important right now. And we'll go back the way we came and end it pretty much the same spot. I'm sure now if I clean the lens, I don't know how well this is going to work. The thing is completely drenched. Alrighty. Uh, pocket for the flashlight. Yeah, I mean, this is the best I can do. Everything is soaked. I'm sure you're seeing things sort of okay. The wind has picked up yet again. Big splash. Yeah, I don't want to be there when car crosses. This whole area is completely flooded. So is this little area. As like I said, I'm trying to aim the camera away from the rain so I don't have to clean it as often. Yep, power is definitely back in the neighborhood. I can see it. So that was good while I was doing this, a power return, so I could do all this wonderful editing and throw this pointless video up on YouTube. I'm calling it pointless because it's just a... Uh, She's not really showing herself very well. And I don't know if I already explained it on video or not, but I think I might have. But it's well worth mentioning again, because of short attention spans, that I'm experiencing Sandy for the second time. The first time was when I was at Disney World. It was a lot better. That is, it was just a little shower and occasional gust of wind to like 40 miles an hour. This 
second run three days later, much worse. So let's just clean this off again if it's even going to work. Like I said, I'm at the point now. It's not going to matter. We're already getting bulbs out in the Fidelity Bank. So 62 degrees. Subtract 4, it's 58. And for those of you that never seen videos of that thermometer, there's several on different subjects. That thermometer reads 4 degrees too high. Well, it looks like it's pretty much just a lot of rain and maybe a strong gust of wind, but nothing in the storm force category. The worst of it is probably over now. And we're going to end it here unless there's something to bring attention to. Well, yeah, we got a gust going through right now. Yeah, you're not going to see much of anything, but... I'm just zooming into the trees that are about to get this wind gust. There we go. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to walk backwards, which is kind of hard to do. And that'll be it. This is Georgia 551 saying, it's been worse. She just calms down whenever she's on camera. Have a good one.